Hey, hey everyone. everyone, I'm Dan. I'm Elisa. And this is JRPG Life. Before we get started, we wanted to mention real quick that we noticed that most of our viewers aren't subscribed. So please, please, pretty please do us a favor. Check below, hit that subscribe button. And if you think you're subscribed already, go double check and make sure. We are getting really, really, really close to a thousand subscribers. And once we hit a thousand subs, uh, our YouTube channel will actually unlock new features for us to use to make different content that we've been really excited in making in the future. So uh, double check and make sure you're subscribed. Yes. So some of the things we really want to do are more on JRPGs. We want to do some gameplay. We want to do some reviews. We'd love to do some live streams and maybe some, um, you know, Q and A's and those kind of things. So do us that favor. But until then, check out our video. Hello. We're here at Collector's Marketplace. We have a lot of little Snickle Fritz things from multiple yard sales that we, we don't want to keep. Uh, we just want to see if we can get some money out of them. Like, uh, if you can see, we've got a couple bins behind us. There's that Cabbage <laughs> Patch doll that we picked up and uh, it's been for sale for months. No one's bit. Yeah. Uh, and we paid like eight bucks and we're hoping to get at least that back out of it. And a bunch of Xbox 360 Madden games, uh, Hot Wheels from old stuff, uh, the, the G.I. Joe a lot from last year. We got some ponies too. They're old ponies. So. Yep. So we're hoping we could get something out of it. Uh, no idea. And then we'll share with you what we got and then probably buy some video games from it. So uh, let's see what Collector's Marketplace here in North Phoenix can uh, give us for our stuff. We got some trade. Yeah, they took all of it. So they yeah. took two bins worth of um, toys and video game stuff that, you know, isn't some, something that we can really move easily. So we're super happy with this. We got Final Fantasy Adventure. Um, it was marked $84.99 and we got $70 in trade. So we ended up paying 16 bucks and change for it. And you know, it's in pretty good condition. Um, the box has a little bit of pen mark on it, but it's complete. We got to check the manual out in the game, and those are real nice. It's got the the cardboard insert as well, so that's always nice. Yeah, so I that's that's a win. All that stuff has been sitting at our house for months. Yeah, we've just been walking around it for for a while, so we're super happy to have the space back in our house and be able to add a complete in box version of this. We do have a loose cart, which we'll probably. Uh, flip as well and that will make this free. Yep. And it's funny because a lot of that stuff, yeah, we probably spent a total of maybe 30 bucks for all that stuff over the course of some yard sales, but those yard sale days, we already made all our money back yeah, on Yeah, we already made all our money back on, on those yard sales anyways. So it's always worth it to check if anybody trades stuff in because man, that's we just got a game, a game Boy game. Yeah, it's that fantastic. was fantastic. So that's fantastic. Moving on. Several days later. So we started this whole collecting journey way back in the day. 
by uh, trading in a bunch of magic cards for video games. True story. Yep. And uh, today we just uh, hooked up with somebody on uh, Facebook Marketplace and he wants to trade a couple of really sweet um, PS1 games for magic cards. And I said, let's do it. I had some stuff I knew he wanted and uh, we did a little bit of preemptive and now we're going to go take a look and I'm bringing a bunch of binders into him and we're going to go sit at a Barrow's Pizza and uh, he's going to go through and see if we can make a deal. Now there aren't any RPGs in this post but uh, we revealed in one of our other videos that my second favorite genre is um, sur survival horror. So pretty yes. excited about this one. So let's go in and see how it goes. Three hours later. Well, that went pretty well. Yeah, uh, we traded a bunch of old cards, modern staples basically, and um, 20 bucks for, um, actually take a look if you want to pan in the back seat, see all the binders. So I brought a bunch of binders of magic cards with. <laughs> and we got some dinner. <laughs> and then we got some dinner at Cafe Rio. Um, but I'll uh, grab what we, oh, actually got it right here. So we got. Glacier. Glacier blue Game Boy. No battery back, but that's fine. Um, we needed this last color for our collection, so that's really sweet. And it works great. It came with Defender, which is fine. We just picked up a box for that, so yeah. we needed that to complete it. Uh, one of the genres I really like, Metal Slug. This is Metal Slug X for PlayStation. Really clean, complete. Um, I mean, that's worth like 45 bucks. And then the other one, the granddaddy of the pickups. The one I'm excited <clears throat> about. Now, I've owned this game probably three times in my life, and I just didn't keep it for some reason. <laughs> now I want it, we want it, and she's never played it all the way through. And my family rented it from Blockbuster all those many, many moons ago. Yep, and it is, ta-da, Silent Hill. Um, super clean, super complete, and uh, we made a great deal with the guy. Basically, um, for this, and Metal Slug and the Game Boy, um, we traded about $195, $200 worth of Magic cards plus 20 bucks. Yeah, and so. They were just sitting around the house. They're not cards I'm gonna play. I play Commander primarily and maybe some Pioneer and they're all modern stuff that are great for him. So and, we're both happy. And we've had these cards for a long time. Like yeah. um, we bought boxes originally of most of these sets that we traded for. So they're pretty much free for us. You know? So that makes me want to start doing a post that says like, I'll trade my magic cards for your retro video games. Yeah. Has anybody, you know, comment below, has anybody done that before? I think that'd be sweet. Cause that's, I mean, we did that in a, there's a store locally called Desert Sky Games. Mm -hmm. And when we started, like I said, we did this trade and we traded a bunch of, I was getting out of magic and I said, here's a bunch of expensive standard and modern stuff. And we bought a bunch of video games from it. And that's it, how it sparked our interest. And everything that we got that year has just skyrocketed in value in regards to video games. And not only that, um, but like all the Dragon Quest DS games, I got most of them brand new from that store for like $40 a piece. Yeah. And those are like close to $200 a piece now. Yep, it's pretty sweet. So I hope we can do more of this. And uh, it's great after that, you know, the yard sale video we posted that we picked up a bunch of magic cards, like, this might just become a thing, so let's keep rocking it. Yeah. I love getting games for almost free. Yeah. So, great times. Those little trades, we do those more often than we realize, so it's fun to finally share that with you guys. And uh, we've got some great games out of it. I'm really excited for a lot of these, all of them, honestly. And, uh, you got any thoughts? Well, I'm definitely pretty stoked about this one. Um, I would like all the adventures and Game Boy Final Fantasy games in box at some point. Um, they've just, you know, kind of skyrocketed over the years and um, kind of regret not getting them um, when we they were a lot cheaper. Yeah, we have this one in Legend 2 is all we have right now. Mm -hmm. So we'll get there. We have them all loose, all loose yeah. but it'd be really nice to get some sweet boxes and uh, manuals. Um, this completes our Silent Hill collection. Yeah, Silent Hill, like, um, I'd love for him to do a playthrough. I'm not very good at the tank controls, <laughs> like... Neither am I anymore, <laughs> but, you know, it's 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 doable. <laughs> yeah, so that, that'd be fun um, to go, go through and watch that and um, cringe 
a little bit at some of the graphics, but <laughs> it's still scary. <laughs> it's still yeah, it, oh, yeah. It's it's still it's still scary, it's still beautiful, and it's it's a era. And um, I, I don't know too much about Metal Slug. Can you tell me about that? Uh, run and gun shooter, classic arcade, awesome Neo Geo style gameplay. Um, this is the kind of game I put in the PlayStation when uh, we have friends over. We just grab some controllers and just shoot it up. And this is the, you just you just play until you die. Or you just beat the game. And it's pretty short, but um, all the metal sucks are fantastic. And we got this little um, blue GBA as well. We actually have an empty box for yeah, to live in. Yeah, that in the video. Mm -hmm. And um, we do need to, hopefully maybe we can find an, an authentic back replacement for it. The battery cover, yeah. And maybe do a little retro writing on it. Uh, the back's a little yelled up, but it's great to have um, that thrown in the trade as well. Absolutely. So we just wanted to show you that um, besides, you know, buying video games with money or, you know, doing a little bit of flipping, there's another method for obtaining videos and games for your collect collection as well. And that's trading in items that aren't video games that you aren't necessarily wanting to add to your collection or things that um, you've had for a really long time and, you know, paid very little money for ages ago. You can, some of that is worth a bit of money to other collectors and you were able to trade those items for video games. So let's give you an update on our journey to gaming grails. Cause this really is just some trades and we paid 20 bucks, like really not much. But uh, obviously a couple weeks ago, we had a really bad offer of lot that we bought. And uh, to be honest with you, we haven't made our money back on it yet. We've made about half of it back, but we still have some things to post. We need to post the Nintendo. Like we've just been busy. We've been kind of slacking on our eBay postings, but counting the 3DS slot that we posted last week and the yard sale week that we had, um, which we, t we spent 70 bucks, picked up all the, the um, dead stock. Yeah. We actually, as of this video, have made up all of our money back and paid ourselves back and made $15. <laughs> so we're in, 15, we're in the green. $15 in the green. So everything else that we have um, out in, the, um, in our inventory that we haven't posted yet, we can post and that will all continue to profit for us. Yeah, so like some of the big ones that we sold were the dead stock, right? <clears throat> yeah. So those mini DVRs, we sold like eight of them all at once for like 160 bucks. Yeah, just someone just bought the whole lot all at great. once. And then the 3DS lot was great because we basically doubled our money on that. So we made an additional 130 bucks off that, which is great. And uh, with a little bit of the things combined that we keep selling, like some of the U, the loose Wii U games from that previous yard sale, and uh, some more of the broken parts that people are buying, I'm like, hey, this is broken, you want it for cheap? People are like, sure, uh, we've made it. So now, we gotta post a bunch of stuff, and then hopefully buy something expensive. So stay tuned for that. Until then, when you're trading stuff that isn't video games for video games, with your significant other, a couple of plays together, Stays together. together. Take care. We'll see you next time.